Many of us have used the Gboard application to dictate the things we want to type out for years, but it hasn't always been a flawless experience on Android. But with the launch of the Google Pixel 6, we saw massive improvements in this task with the addition of what Google calls Google Assistant Voice Typing. This is a feature that, in addition to transcribing the words you speak into words on your phone, can also automatically add in the proper punctuation in contextually appropriate locations. For some, it was a major selling point of the Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro, and in typical Google fashion, it has been broken for many people over the last couple of months. Many people are reporting issues where this feature does not work as it used to. These folks are still able to dictate the things they want using the keyboard, but it isn't leveraging the Google Assistant, which is what results in the app no longer being able to add in proper punctuation. Sadly, the company is already well aware of the issue and they say they are working on a fix. But again, this has been having, happening for months and there is still not a proper fix sent out via an over the air update. Thankfully, I can provide a much faster workaround fix that seems to be helping those of us who are having this issue with the Google Assistant voice typing feature not working and being grayed out. We're going to be wiping all of the data stored by the Google application. So to start, we're going to open up the settings application. We're going to look for and then select the apps option. Tap the see all apps button right there. Then you're going to want to scroll down a little bit until you see the Google application option. When we tap it, we're then going to select the storage and cache option. And then from here, we're going to first select the clear cache button. And then we tap the manage space, which brings us to another page, which from here, we can tap the clear all data button. This is going to reset us back to the app info page for the Google application, specifically for storage. And from there we can back out, go back to the home screen, and restart our phone. Now what seems to be happening is there seems to be some type of corrupt data that is preventing this option from being enabled. And this again has resulted in many of us seeing the Google Assistant voice typing toggle being grayed out in Gboard's settings. Now, instead of us doing this from the Gboard application, it's because it's leveraging the Google application itself due to that being where the Google Assistant feature being. Once the phone boots back up, we're going to go into the app drawer and open up the Google application. We're going to make sure that Google is loading everything properly. And then we're going to activate the Google Assistant. This is going to take us to a prompt telling us that the assistant needs to download some things. So we're going to go ahead and start the download. Now this is setting up the next generation Google Assistant, which is what we saw debut with the Pixel 4. If you get an error whenever trying to download, you can just tap the try again button.
and that should bring down the screen that you saw so that now whenever we activate Google Assistant, you can see it's actually going to start capturing the words that I am saying. Testing, testing. So now that we are seeing Google Assistant actually capturing words, then we can go in and check the Gboard settings for to make sure that that toggle is present again. So we're going to go up into the Gboard settings. We're going to find a option here labeled voice typing. And when we tap into that, this is where we're going to see the assistant voice typing option. For many people, this is the toggle that is grayed out, and this is the toggle they are not allowed or not able to control because it is grayed out. However, going through all of these steps that we did in this video is going to fix this issue so that we can not only enable voice assistant voice typing, but we can also use it when using the Gboard application.